What's up, gang? Today, we're going to do multi-tracking with Ableton Live 10 using the Zed R16 Firewire interface from Allen & Heath. Let's get started. Don't forget to go down there and subscribe. Today, we're going to be using the analog rhythm from Electron using the eight individual outputs. Um, we are also going to be using the Novation Base Station 2. Of course, the Allen & Heath Zed R16. Um, Sir Klon will be handling sequencing duties today. We have some outboard effects all plugged up and running in Ableton Live. Um, so you can see that we're already recording. These are my vocals there. Um, and if we look at the session view, you can see that I'm clipping on the mains. Let's turn that down just a tad. Okay. So you can see that um, right there, that's my mic channel. Um, I have a preset that I use um, that I've created that just loads up all of my channels. Um, what's special about it today is that um, I'm using this snare drum channel as a dual VCO oscillator on the analog rhythm. So it's gonna be producing like a synth tone that sounds something like this. that's what it sounds like all by itself and that is what it sounds like when it's routed through Ableton using these effects I have a little chorus and a little reverb on there um, and then you'll see my base station 2 channel here and I have that going to ascend so on my send and return track I have this crazy long reverb on the return track so what's going to happen is is uh i have those the output for the returns mapped to 11 and 12. and my base station is on channel 9 here so this is what the base station sounds like Put a little sequence on. This is going to be the returns from Ableton. And then let's go ahead and start some sequences from the analog rhythm. Okay, the other cool thing is that on channel four here, I went ahead and created a operator and loaded a little um, preset on there so that uh, that sound can then be sent to channel four here on the mixer. So we load this sequence. So that is coming out of this channel. Uh, the cool thing is is that we can then send. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. That is going to my timeline delay.
So let's check this out. So that's my delay from that thing. So you can see here, this is the mix. So this is everything that's getting recorded right now, including my voice. Um, and then the individual tracks are on there. And then there's this, uh, this MIDI verb track. Let's see what happens when we send something cool to that MIDI verb. So that is this channel. Let's get crazed. So crazed. Okay, thanks for watching. Give me some feedback and give me some likes if you like this video. Give me some not likes if you didn't like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So that's about it for uh, multi-tracking. Uh, there is a lot of flexibility with this pair of Ableton Live and the ZR16. It's, uh, it's a cool board. Um, I really enjoy the flexibility that this board offers. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.